President Muhammad Buhari salutes honest security men who returned valuables. Now, he wants Nigerians to emulate these two security men who returned a handbag filled with valuables forgotten at the Murtala Mohammed Airport by an American returnee, saying such conduct reflects the new Nigeria that we all desire. A Lagos-based medical doctor, Banji Oyegbami, had met a family returning from America at the airport on the 18th of August 2018. In the process of loading their luggage into the car of their host, the handbag of the returnee's wife fell unknown to anyone. It was not until 90 minutes later that an officer of a security department on duty at the airport called the couple to come for the retrieved bag. When the bag was eventually collected, the contents, including a handsome amount of American dollars, phone, wristwatch, and other valuables were intact. The grateful couple offered a generous gift, but Mrs. Mrs. Um, Mrs. Francis Eme Puaku and Achi Daniel declined, saying that they were merely doing their duties. President Muhammad Buhari believes that despite the scoofing, and the scoffing of a minority number, Nigeria is resolutely on the road to a new dawn. Honestly, indeed, remains the best policy. And it's very impressive to see two young men who did so without a reward, Lila. Usually, to be, oh, I re returned it, and somebody gives me something, I'm like, oh, thank you so much, I collected. But they did it without expecting any compensation there. It's good to know we're starting to normalize certain things in our society here in Nigeria. At the end of the day, what this does, and the reason why I really like this story, is because it provides something that a lot of Nigerians have lost out on for a long time and that is hope when you see people around you doing good things it generates a ripple effect of positivity it teaches you what's right to do and it shows people the way for far too long we've literally been looking into the media at stories of people who are doing nothing but spreading negative insinuations and interpretations of things into society but we're seeing people doing things like this and it provides hope it provides have hope. you ever been in a situation where you lost something and somebody else found it for you i have i have not in nigeria though but <laughs> hopefully my day will also come where that happens but the other day i did do something i left my laptop in a paid uh, taxi service that i took and I got into work and I was like, oh goodness, I've forgotten my laptop. So I called him and I was already hesitant because of the back of my mind. I was there thinking, he's not going to pick my call, is he? Of course he but will, he did. because the way I see it. No, I, this was like an hour later that I this remembered. Is a paid taxi and he came later. back. This is and, a yeah. taxi that you can trace. Mm -hmm. So there's, that's the reason why it's important to use a lot of the paid taxi services, the pre-registered mm -hmm. taxi services, yeah. where if you misplace anything, you can trace it. No, I've been in the a situation before where the guy said to me, madam, I'm busy, I can't blah, 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 blah. So I didn't hear from him for the rest of the day, tried the next day, didn't hear anything. It took me going through the actual company to get through to him to get my belongings back do you see what i'm saying so already my hope had been taken away from me but then i had an experience that brought my hope back i still have one actually you're right i still have one a, pre a pre-registered taxi company i forgot my brooch in there up until today i haven't gotten that brooch. Mm. but away from that um i would say that i've experienced that as well i remember once i forgot my phone i went to buy food somewhere and then i forgot my phone and i was already panicking mm. i had gone to i had gotten to where where I was going to. And after a while, I remember that my phone wasn't with me. I went back and they kept my phone for me. But That's just really last week, though. Leila, just last week, $200 was taken from my wallet. Wow. So when I hear things like this, I'm like, why did this person not say, ah, Olive? You know, I, there was no way the thing fell out of my wallet. There was no way it fell out of my wallet. Somebody opened my wallet and took it out. But I miss the stories of doom and gloom. It's important to note that there are still kind people. There are still good Nigerians out there who will not take what doesn't belong to them and who would see what belongs to somebody else who have mistakenly dropped it and then decide to pick it up and give it to the person. And Absolutely. we hope that you, that you're watching this, that you're part of those good Nigerians that we have left. Absolutely. And if you do ever see something, you do see something that doesn't belong to you, but you know that it could be valuable to another person, do what you can to try try and ensure that that person gets their goods back. It's so important. And at the end of the day, do unto others as you want done unto you. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.